Hey guys, for Second Realms here today, and on today's video I'm going to show you the Found Diamonds plugin. Um, first off, head over to dl.bucket.org and make sure you got an updated version of Bucket. Um, you can download the beta build right here, which is 1.7.2, or you can go to alternate versions and get the dev build. But for now, we're going to head back to bucket.org. Click on Get Plugins. And type in Found Diamonds. So now this plugin allows you to administrate your server and tell you when people break certain blocks. But for instance, a diamond block, someone breaks it, it'll tell only the admins or you can have it broadcasted to everyone, but I just prefer the admins. Anyways, once you click on the download link, oh, well not the download link, but the page link in the description box, come over here and click on download. Normally this download button will be the most updated version, or you can scroll down a little more and see recent files down here, and the most recent ones up top, and it's up to date right now. So you're just going to click on that, and then hit download and save that wherever you can find it but I'm gonna go back here and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave the configuration file on theirs so I'll show you it myself we're gonna go into the permissions and I'm gonna tell you which ones to add alright so for admins who you know you give on your server people all the commands regularly uh, operators and whatnot you wanna give them this permission node which will give them access to all the commands but if you just want like admins or moderators to see when people break blocks, um, give them FD admin. FD trap allows them to set traps and when they're broken, uh, you can either set it up to ban the player or kick them or do neither or. And then FD broadcast, you probably don't want to give because I'll broadcast like what blocks they break to everyone on the server or whoever has that permission node whenever they break a block then it'll broadcast to everyone um, and then the FD monitor, I mean that monitors light levels which I've never really messed with because uh, normally the admin messages when people break diamonds is more than enough for catching x-rayers anyways since you have your download link go ahead and load it into your server, I already got mine in here in my plugins folder I'm gonna go over the config with you Whenever you start it up, you'll have these two folders. You can ignore the plugin metrics. That's for a website, mcstats.org. We're going to go in the found diamonds. We're going to go in the config and edit with Notepad. All right, so the main disable in creative mode, I normally set that to true because, you know, the only people in creative mode are normally your operators or above. Give OPs all permissions, okay. Light level, I normally just ignore this. Like I said before, I the admin messages are more than enough. Alright, so traps, which work pretty well for catching x-rays. If you think you found someone who's x-raying but you want to be sure, you can set like a trap a few blocks underneath them and if they dig straight down to it, you're like, okay, I know, you're good. Well, an x-ray. Um, anyways, kick on player trap, true, ban, I don't give that the false so that I can check it out myself. Um, items. Uh, I recently changed this to give players one diamond and a 5% chance of getting it. And then I turned award all players to false since I don't want all the players to get it. I only want the person who mines the diamond ore to get it. So this says, random. so these are the random items you can get. This is the only random item you can get that I specified for mining diamonds. So whenever someone finds diamonds, they have a 5% chance to get one diamond extra. And now for the spells, whenever they, whenever someone randomly find, well, when someone mines diamond, they have a random chance of getting one of these spells. And it looks like the default config is 100% chance. I would probably switch that to like 15%. Spell strength, uh, one to five. Um, Oh, well, I mean, I guess three, you know, it's between. I mean, if you want one for a crappy spell, five to be a good one. Probably, do f probably four. Award all players again. I'm going to do that false. And then I'd set this to true. And for the sake of the video, I'm going to change this back to 100. 
case we test that in game. All right, so now here's the broadcasting part. So now what the broadcast does in this plugin is broadcast it to every player with that fd.broadcast permission node. So let's say a member on your server mines a diamond ore. It will broadcast to everyone online since I assume that the latter of your permissions, everyone above a member has all the permissions a member has. So everyone will see who mines what ore that you specify here. And since you specify almost every ore here, if not every ore, um, then they're going to see what everyone mines, which would be really annoying. So I like to remove these and just leave diamond and emerald ore since those are kind of rare. Um, I normally don't change the messages, but you can make sure to include the at sign, so if you're going to change them, otherwise it won't work. Um, use player nicknames, okay. Um, logging. Um, trap breaks, okay, that's fine. Light levels, that is cute. That false log diamond ore breaks, I said that they're true. Admin messages, now this is what we were really wanting. Um, I think I, I think I know how to do it just in here. Let's go ahead and let's, let me, one, two, three, four, uh, four spaces, space, diamond ore, change it to aqua. All right, my SQL, I'm gonna ignore that. Metrics, if you do not want, um, um, the enable worlds is world, world nether, world in. Really don't need the last two. So now we're going to go ahead and save that, close out, go back, start up our server. Oh, also I installed group manager while I was away to hopefully demonstrate how the permissions work in game. Alright guys, so now we're in our world. Looks good. Um, so to test it, I'm going to lay down a few diamond blocks right on top of each other. All right, so the first command I'm going to show you is the slash fd clear placed command. This is only for, you know, operators and above who have all the permissions for this. Um, what this command does is whenever you place it on diamond ore and you type in this, it'll act like it is a real diamond ore being found again. All right, so now I'm going to change my game mode back to survival. Um, my default group, I should be in the default group. Let's see, mine it. And it says that I found it, and I was awarded, looks like speed. And I'm going really quick. All right. All right, so now that's what broadcasting does. That's going to show it to everyone, which we, um, if we want to look, it says FD Forsaken Realms just found six diamond ores, and then Forsaken Realms found six diamond ores. Um, and the command prompt for my server, this right here, the second one, is the broadcast. This one right here is an admin message. So to show admin messages, let's OP me real quick so I can change my. Hey guys, Forsaken Realms, I'm back here on my dedicated server at play.forsakencraft.net. And now I can show you how the admin messages work. Whenever a player on your server breaks a block, it'll send admins a message with the permission node fd.admin, a message that, who the hell is this, that they broke the block. Anyways, my trusty co-owner right here, the real Fluffy, is going to go ahead and test it for us. Uh, wait, 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 oh my god, there's diamonds over here? What? What? Holy guacamole! Let's go ahead and mine this one. Oh, there's oh. an advertisement behind it? Uh oh, what? I don't know what he's talking about. Anyways, um, as you guys see, it said the real fluffy just found four diamond ores. Um, why it didn't say six? Don't ask. I think it's because I didn't type in slash fd clear placed before, which, like I told you before, that clears um, you from you know whatever. Anyways. That's how the admin messages work. I would say that's probably the biggest part about this plugin. All right, guys, so I forgot to show you the found diamonds feature of the trap feature and the found diamonds plugin. Yeah, tongue twist right there. Anyways, um, the trap feature allows you to set traps on people who you think are x rayed and I've been watching this player on my server. Um, he's big x rayer you know, haven't banned him for the sake of the video, you know, I wanted to get the video done first. Um, anyways, 
He's in this cave right now. I'm invisible following him. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a trap below him. You know, well, not below him, but near him. Right below me, though. And I want it to be three blocks below, alright? So I'm gonna type in slash FD trap set diamond ore. So this is the ore you want. You can use gold ore also. Emer nope. Emerald ore and whatnot. My eye disguise needs an update. Who cares? Anyways, diamond ore. Three blocks below me. So trap ID 1 set with diamond ore, three blocks below me. Alright, so now let's watch. Oh, here he is. Here he is. He doesn't see me. Oh, look at this. Look at this extra. What the? What? Oh, he found the diamond ore. Good thing he's OP. He didn't get kicked. Alright guys, so, I mean, that's how you set up the diamond trap to, you know, give you evidence. I'm gonna dig, okay, I'm vanished. I'm gonna dig down three, four blocks. Alright, grab stone, place it back on top. We're gonna type in the same command right there. Go down, diamond ore, diamond ore, diamond ore, diamond ore. Come back up. The reason why it doesn't say that I broke a trap, do trap block and doesn't kick me offline is because... I'm an OP and I get exempt for it and yeah but if it's a normal player and they mine it they'll instantly get kicked if that's how you have it set up they'll get that kick message and or you could have them banned instantly you know for x-raying um, but yeah that's the trap feature really cool I'll show you guys one more example uh, how would I do it like out of it let's try like FD trap set gold or one so let's set it right below me. Gold ore. Again, it's another trap block. If I break it though, we're good. FD trap list. And these are all the ones that are listed. Um, breakable, yeah. Um, if you need more help with the traps, you can type slash FD trap for more extensive knowledge of it. You can remove them, obviously. Um, if you need, lastly, if you need more help with the Found Diamonds plugin, FD, well no, just FD, and uh, you get all these clear place like I was using uh, earlier, show the configuration file, reload helps if you change the configuration file, save it and upload it to your server, um, and yeah, I think that's about it guys, thanks for watching.